Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of uh, Chelsea FC career mode. Uh, it seems uh, Chelsea uh, gonna face tomorrow against uh, Burnley. Today it's gonna be good matches against uh, Manchester United. They are playing uh, Everton and Arsenal playing uh, Wolves and yesterday Man City won so that means we are still a little bit tight but we're hoping today's games brings better results for us so we can win tomorrow and move up to uh, at least third um, so far that's going very it's very stressful as well and uh, you can see that uh, uh, these couple of days there are rumors that are they're saying Eden Hazard is going to leave Real Madrid going to leave for Real Madrid in a couple of days in several news reporters they were saying that but it keep on coming you know so but uh, even though I'm still didn't make any chance uh, any transfers you can see last match was an amazing match we made a comeback uh, from the second leg in the legs as well as in the game and now we are going to face uh, Blackburn Rovers in the FA Cup after that we are going to face uh, Bournemouth and then Huddersfield. It's going to be a quite easy match. Now you can see there are two matches that you have to play against. Inter Icardi is um, breathing down our neck. It's going to be really tough. And it's after Manchester City. So I have to manage these games. What should I have to do? And after that, we are going to face uh, Tottenham. Uh, so it's going to be a tough games, tough line of games in February and uh, i gotta say we got an update so most of the, some of the players phases got updated in ban munich player phases like robert Lewandowski, javi garcia uh nicholas sule uh, joshua kimmich and uh, kingsley coleman those players got upgraded or trippy signs for milan hmm. i will show you the, what are the transfers that has happened in the other Spurs complete signing of Draxler. Wow. So they are making some moves. Okay, not right now. At the end of the transfer window, like before one day or after the day, I will be showing you the deals that has gone through. So you can enjoy for that. And let's start the game against uh, Blackburn Rovers in the FA Cup. Oh, he got beaten. Ampadu. Come on, Ampadu. Shit. So, Blackburn scores. Uh, kind of see, we really missed Blackburn. They were in the Premier League team when they were playing Morton, Gamzet, Pedersen. Two guys. Uh, two guy, And they had some good Jason Roberts they had. Then Johnny Morwari. I still remember they had this... Uh, uh blue and white strips two sides it was a good side now after that that winky take over the chicken company took over and after that they were struggling it was, that was a good goal that's a pure fault from uh, ethan amparo so it's a good tackle it's a good ball for higuain going through Scores. So you can see the idea. Uh, I we promoted Iguain from the first team squad to the second team squad because Giroud is on uh, form, and you can see recent interviews. Giroud said he wants to be a first try striker. Otherwise, he will be leaving Chelsea. I don't know if he can extend his contract. I will be waiting for that. If we if we extend the contract, he will be staying for another one year. Next season, I'm going to use Tammy, or uh, if you don't have the transfer ban, we, I will sign Jovic. And Bachuai is there as well. Let's see what's going to happen in uh, next season. So, we ended in a draw again. Another fixture we have. Another replay that we have to play. I don't want to say, I don't want to play another replay, guys. It's so annoying. Shit, we should have won the game, but it's okay. Gonzalo going at three attempts, but one goal is we have been very poor today. (sighs) 
Gonzalo Higuain is the man of the match. Van Ginkel with a yellow card. And uh, it seemed to be a match we had to win, but we drew and added another pressure onto us in the fixture list. So, Atletico Madrid are bidding 17 million for Barclay. I want to keep him next season. He'll be a backup player. He's not a starting loan player, but he will be a backup player. So, I'm going to reject it. So, the fixture against uh, Blackburn have been moved to here. And after that, we have to play City and Inter. Hmm. So, now we are going to face uh, Bournemouth away. It's going to be a tough game. We lost this match. Uh, yeah, let's try and play and win the game because it's a very close call. You can see in the table, Chelsea 45 points, still game in hand, but other teams are pressurizing. See Wolves, everyone there, but Huddersfield, Southampton are going down and Fulham are coming up. Hmm. The table is shaping up pretty well. You can see the top seven teams are really good. Everton are surprising candidates sitting over there. I think Arsenal will move up. King scores. Yeah, he scored in his debut. Guys, I'm telling you, they were really tough. They were playing really well. Poor mouth. And this guy scored on his debut. Look at that defending by uh, David Luiz. That's an easy tap in. Hasbillah could have, should have tackled it. So he scores his debut goal against Chelsea. And that has opened the on for a corner. Corner's taken. He scored again. He scored again. It's King. That's a terrific goal. That's a good corner. Uh, he got there the better. Uh, Have another peek at that goal. So that's its sixth goal of the season. Another. Yeah, it's another goal. Oh, guys. They're trailing 3 0. What was our defense doing over there? Left them completely open for the cross. Look at that. Where is Rudy? Look at that player. Three players unmarked. Oh, it's we got a hill to climb. That's another one, yes. <sighs> Guys, 4 nil against Bournemouth. 4 nil. That's Callum Wilson. Look at that. Look at that. David Lee just stopped. God help me. So... We lose the game 4-0. We got uh, ran over by the opposition Bournemouth. They were playing really well. From the beginning they were playing really well, I had to say. I was not expecting a 4-0 victory for them, but it was very poor to be honest. You can see the, all of our players were horrible. And they were the better team. They had 13 shots compared to our 3 shots. They were defending very well. They were doing a lot of good things. But unfortunately, we lost 4-0, guys. 
So Atletico Madrid are offering 22 million for Andres Christensen. Straight away, I'm going to reject it. There's a transfer offer for uh, Cesar Spiliqueta for 33 million. If it was, uh, I would consider, but this season I'm not going to sell him because I want to keep him. He's an important squad player for us. So Ampadu got a loan interest from Nice. I want to keep him as he's my backup player since uh, Gary Cale is sold out. Manchester United are offering 17.5 million Ruben Loftus Cheek. <laughs> Funniest offer ever. Rejected. So as I promised, I'm going to show you the top deals and the surprising deals that has gone through. You can see Real Madrid have sold Danny Carvajal to Manchester United for 55 million. That's the top deal we are having. And Julian Draxler signed from Paris to Spurs for 49 million. Leon Bailey has gone to Leipzig for 48 million. And Real Madrid have sold Karim Benzema to FC Bayern Munich for 48 million. And Iago Aspas, he has been really good and he has signed for Paris. And I think this player, Danilo Pereira, yeah, oh my god, they have signed a good defense, center defensive midfielder. Uh, Manchester United are blustering their squad for 37 million from FC Porto. And. Uh, Atlanta United, wow, this player is a highly rated player. Joseph Martinez has signed for uh, Arsenal for 36 million. Sergio Roberto has gone to Bayer Leverkusen. Jesse Lindegaard, Leipzig. Kramaric has gone to Napoli. Luke Shaw has gone to Bayern Munich. Oh, why they have gone to Bayern Munich? Hmm. They have Alaba. Anyways, it's for 33 million. Monchon Glad Othogan Azad has signed for Manchester United. Wow, that's a surprise. We have another Azad has gone to Manchester United. Trent Alexander, this is the most ridiculous and surprising deal that's ever happened. He has gone to Bournemouth from Liverpool. Gaia has gone to Dortmund. Kevin Walland has gone to Southampton. The Corey has gone to Bunch and Gladback. Grimaldo has signed for Manchester City. He's a left back. Hmm. Hector Bellerin has gone to West Ham. Jerem Boateng has gone to Olympique Lyon. Florenzi has gone to Paris Saint Germain. Harry Wings has gone to Newcastle United. Vincent Abubakar. Wow. Haisa just signed for Barcelona. This should be a transfer target for uh, Chelsea because of, but we have Reese James, so will not be. Alex Wobi has gone to Crystal Palace. Wow. Good deals, good deals. Tierney has gone there. And anyway, Van der Beek has gone to Everton. Chilwell has signed for Schalke. Fauzi Gulam has gone to Dortmund. Whoa. Trippier has gone to Milan. Danny Rose Valentia. Shelly has gone to Monaco. Thousand has gone to Lazio. Why do you please people players are moving to Italy? English players, Michael Antonio Burnley. Yeah. Lucas Ocampas has gone to Munch and Glenberg. I think he's replacing Togan Hazard. Wow. Let me go to the Free transfers now. Who has gone on free because they used to play to the yeah free. David Edgar, okay, not a big player has moved so far. Yeah. No big player has made a move. Whoa 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 oh, okay, they have sent on loan, okay. Phil Foden De Young, okay. Ricardo Rodriguez has got a load to Daddy Elvis. These are unrealistic. See, Crystal Palace have sent Wilfred Zaha loan to Torino. 
uh, that was pretty unrealistic. Capella Grini has gone to Girona on loan. Ake has gone to Girona on loan. What? Golovin has gone to Girona on loan. Girona signing lots of players. Ayaza Perez has gone to Spal on loan. Damn. Adnan Janus has gone on loan to Getafe. Those are some bad deals that has happened. Up next, we are going to face Huddlesfield. So you can see player of the month shortlist. No Chelsea player has been nominated. Ashley Westwood as son for Dusseldorf. That's a bit unrealistic. English players, they don't really move. But now they started moving to Germany. Now you can see Eden Hazard out for five days, so I have to play without him. Next match uh, against Huddersfield. After that, we are going to play the replay. I'm going to give my squad a full rest. I'm going to use my second team squad for this. And against Blackburn, I will use my third squad because that's not an important match that I want to play. Marco Van Ginkel. We're going to Willian. He scores. That's a good goal from Willian. Finally. That's a good goal from Higuain. That's a good goal. His keeper are so horrible, <laughs> trust me, the movements. It's a good ball for Ross Barclay. And he unleashed Willian. He's coming forward. Barclay scores. First shot was blocked and after that the second chance he just lashed it. It's a poor ball from uh, Willian and after that he just bashed it to the top of the net. That's his fifth goal of the season. Wow, what a classy goal indeed. <laughs> Shit, he put his foot through in there. I should have cleared it. Look at that. Uh, a little bit hard, I should have cleared. Wow, that's a good curler, guys. Beautiful goal. From this angle, look at that angle. Wow. Beautiful curler. As from Billing, a superb goal. There goes the match. We win the game 2 1, an arrow win again. Billing had the best goal, to be honest, I have to say. It was a beautiful goal. So, William, I think, is the man of the match. Yeah, William is the man of the match. Again, FC Bayern Munich has offered uh, 22 million for Christensen. But I'm going to reject it. Christensen getting good offers. But I'm keeping on rejecting them. The next match we are going to play is uh, Blackburn Rovers. The replay. I'm going to use my reserve squad because I'm not too interested in the FA Cup. I'm going to focus on the Premier League finishing top four and the Europa League. I want to win it. Um... So I'm going to use the third squad and after that you can see two tough matches. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my second team squad against Manchester City and my first team squad against Inter Milan. That's a way we have to fly there. And after that, again we have to play Newcastle United and again at home for Inter in the Europa League. Wow, that's a really tough line of games that we are going to be having in this match, in this month. Let's start the match against Blackburn Rovers. Ashley Barnes grabs Player of the Month award for January. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. 
Tackle. Kyle Scott. Drink water. Scores. Mr. Drink Water who was drinking alcohol last week and got fined. <sighs> he's, I'm going to sell him because he's the only senior player. Only good overall player in this squad. That's why he's pouring that goal. It was a good passing move and it was a weighted pass from Ogbo and he placed it wide to, passed it wide to the goalpost. Billy Gilmore, Ogbo scores. Ugbo scores the goal, which uh, confirms our victory at 60 mil, I think, if we play really well. <laughs> Ooh, I keep my trust in the youth squad because they are uh, repaying my faith every time when I played in the youth squad. Now they scored 2 nil against Blackburn and we are progressing in the FA Cup. A good ball for McEachern, George McEachern through. Can he score? He scores. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a so we have scored the third goal with the youth squad. <laughs> they couldn't catch uh, George McEachern. Uh, number 55. Next season they will play a big part in our season, I think. Let's hope. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. Did well stuck out a foot, cut off the pass. He can cross it now. Well, shot. Look at that. <laughs> well, it's, one, uh, it's a consolation goal, even though look at that. I was doing nothing and I was just standing and uh, as a boy watcher. <laughs> I was I was hoping Caballero will come and get it. See, as I stopped it, and Caballero was like a snail. <sighs> Danny Graham scores. I hope you guys remember him. He was used to play Swansea, Sunderland. So we win the game. <laughs> that last goal was a little bit of <laughs> confusing, and plus stupid at some point if you see it so George McEachern is the I think man of the match he had two goals and one attempts two attempts and one goal did really well Gilmore and George McEachern yeah George McEachern is the man of the match all this all the players played really well except for Zappa Costa Wakeley had Wow, he's a good performance as well. The next match is against Manchester City. Wow, what a game it's going to be. They are eighth. They are the only team struggling at the moment. Uh, but don't take them lightly because they will be a top squad even though they are, f they are eighth right now i don't know what has happened all of a sudden the table just changed upside down manchester city are trailing from around wow a lot of points liverpool are first now they have played uh, one game more against us it's going to be a tough match but i'm going to use my second team against them as for top scorers, Aiden Hazard still there. Uh, Sanchez is like trailing. Uh, Aubameyang is close to as well. So let's start the game using our second squad. 
So Claudio Bravo is on the post for Man City. Kyle Walker, Otamendi, Laporte and Grimaldo is their left back. Silva, Fernandini and De Bruyne are in the midfield. Sterling, Aguero and Gar. So there is no Edison. I think they, he must be injured. I don't know what has happened. So Chelsea, we are going using the second lineup. Uh, even though it's poor because we have to play uh, Inter Milan in the next game, so I'm like resting a lot of my first team squad. Uh, it's a must win game, so let's start the game. Pedro. Higuain now. Barclay, he scores. We take the lead on the first goal. That's a good counter-attacking game that we played now. Well, he got to the position of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity to squander. Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have So that's Barclay's sixth goal of the season. Who am I, Tio Kovacic? Oh, it hits the post and it's William. That's offside. Offside from Willian. That's a good strike from Kovacic first. And Willian was offside. <laughs> Miles off. Willian. On for Ginkel, scores. Marco and Ginkel makes it 2 0 for Chelsea. It's a good passing move. That's Marco and Ginkel's third goal of the season. Silva scores. Sorry, it's Aguero scores. That's a good give and go goal. Wow. That's Aguero's fourth goal of the season. So we win the game. 2 1 against Manchester City, our second team squad. Uh, got the job done. I hope you guys remember the match uh, they play against the Euro in the Champions League. Tottenham against uh, Manchester City. That was so <laughs> so interesting match. If you guys didn't watch it, I think you missed some of one of the greatest match ever played. It's a really entertaining match. Today we win the game 2-1. Thanks to Van Ginkel and Barclays goal. Aguero scored a consolation. Sergio Aguero is their man of the match. They played really well as well. But we were the better side. Um, oh, wow. That's, we got the round of 16 next. <laughs> so I'm going to use my squad, first team squad here and my second team squad here. Wow, that was a surprise that I didn't see that coming over there. That's one day gap, guys. So let's play uh, the round of 32, first leg against uh, Inter Milan. It's going to be a tough game. So it's at San Siro, Inter Milan with a full squad. Skani and Miranda partnering, Bozovic on with a yellow card, 9 goal, and is there Perisic, Joao Maria, and Icardi leading the line. That's a, a good strong squad they have him. Hope he can grab some of the away goals. For Chelsea, you can see the same lineup. We have our first team squad, the strongest squad we can afford in this very poor 
the Chelsea team. I want to see their substitute benches. Uh, they didn't show it yet. Okay, let's start the game. Now Politano was looking for Jo Maria. Oh, he scores. Perisic. He's a really good player, guys. Ivan Perisic scores. They take the lead now. First time so taught. He came close on that side, but Perisic scored over here. Brozovic now. He scores again. Guys, Inter Milan. Politano scores it again. Both wingers scored today. Kepa got beaten in the near post. That's a good ball from Hazard to Kalamatsan Odoi. Scores. He got the vital away goal right now. That's a good ball from Eden Hazard. Kalamatsan Odoi scores. And that's a very important away goal we got. Golo Conte. That's a good ball to Loftus Cheek. He scores. That's oh, that's off the line. <laughs> Shit. How close it can it get, guys? That's the last kick. How close can it get? We could have got the equalizer and two goals. Two away goals. Oh my god. What a move. So Ivan Perisic had three shots and one goal. What a game it has been today. We got our one away goal, but it's not enough. I hope we are going to play at home. They were, but I stopped uh, Icardi, but I couldn't do anything against Perisic's goal and Politano's goal. <sighs> Should have seen the last one. So it's Eden Hazard is the man of the match. Up for the big games as usual. Uh, yeah, let's play the next match in the FA Cup round of 16. Let's give our top starting level a rest. That's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, please like and share the video. Uh, next match is up against uh, Leeds. It's going to be really exciting, and we're going to play a second leg. Thank you so much. Goodbye.